Rosie was frightened when she arrived at Highgate Mental Health Centre. She thought she would be in and out within weeks, but that wasn't the message she understood from staff. One of the doctors said to me that it was possible I'd have to stay here for six months and I didn't like that idea at all. But Rosie didn't understand that this was the worst case scenario. Our failing had been that we didn't explain things clearly enough to her and we didn't double check that she had understood her care plan properly. This caused Rosie unnecessary anxiety. I said, well, I'm going to give it a bit longer until I speak to the other doctor, you know, and see what her reaction is towards this six months detaining in the hospital. But we spoke and... Um, well, I'm going on home leave next week now, you know, so it's, what is it, a, a month, you know, really, that I've been here and now she's trying to get me out. Like any mental health trust in the country, staff and patients are constantly communicating with each other, building relationships. Most of the time, everything goes smoothly, but sometimes bad news needs to be given or there are disagreements. And this can lead to confrontation and conflict. No worries. It's the way we handle these interactions which demonstrates whether we are providing excellent care or not. Ian Ibimi is manager of Topaz Ward at Highgate. He believes his staff are professional and always try to reduce tensions with patients from the outset using different techniques. What we will try to avoid most especially is to avoid promising the patient what we cannot deliver or what we know from onset we can't deliver. And delivering excellent, safe care for patients is our top priority. That's why Camden and Islington NHS Foundation Trust, known as CNI, is one of the first NHS organisations in the country to adopt safe wards, a series of interventions promoting consistency of care. It's not about patients as people, it's the behaviours that patients uh, exhibit on wards that we all, including patients, like to see reduced. Jeff so Brennan is one of the safe wards team. Safe Wards is the culmination of years of research at City University and the Institute of Psychiatry. It's led by Professor of Nursing Len Bowers. Professor Bowers and his team identified 10 interventions. These interventions include ways of de-escalating or diffusing situations, guidance on using calm words and techniques, using positive words, delivering bad news and calming down methods. The interventions in the Safe Wards model are based on best practice in the mental health system and are aimed at making wards as safe as possible for both patients and staff. The model is, is in a way our mapping of what we know makes a difference. The interventions are us putting our money where our mouth is and doing a very rigorous uh, control trial of those interventions to see if they made a difference uh, and they did. The 10 interventions remind staff of best practice when it comes to, for example, delivering bad news and calming patients. The aim of Safe Wards is to reduce flashpoints on the wards so the likelihood of conflict occurring in the first place is minimised. Simon Bristow helped introduce Safe Wards to CNI. The project is focusing on uh, ensuring that people are mindful of all of the different points at which conflict can arise and to ensure that we're consistently doing our best to minimise these conflicts. During the Safe Wards trial, conflict reduced significantly. On the wards that tested the interventions, conflict such as self-harm, violence, absconding and alcohol and drugs use reduced by more than 14%. And there were other benefits too, with a 23% reduction in staff prescribing extra medication and restricting movements on the wards. Honestly, she's doing so much better. Mm. I'm really glad we decided to treat her properly at the yeah. end and yeah. turn things around. Julie Richards is ward manager on the Rosewood unit in the Huntley Centre on the St Pancras hospital site. Rosewood provides care for women and was the first ward across the trust to adopt safe wards. Staff are already doing this but it's a way that they can bring more consistency to, to I suppose the level of care that's provided. Absolutely and I think in situations where you're actually under a lot of pressure that's the time that you know having this approach actually is much more in, in staff's awareness and that will enable them to kind of be more uh, conscious of what they're doing and how they're doing it and feeding back about it as well. Director of Nursing and People Claire Johnston believes adopting safe wards across all our inpatient wards will improve safe care for patients. This is a programme that builds on the skills that our staff already have 
Um, our staff are already superb managers of safe environments and in managing really difficult situations with patients. But these are just a set of techniques that can enhance that and make sure that all of the things that we're doing together across the Trust are consistent for patients in terms of making sure it's a really safe environment of care for them. Chief Executive Wendy Wallace says she's delighted that CNI has been the first NHS organisation to commit to implementing safe wards. When you invest a lot of time for staff um, in the training and development there, you want to make sure that it's something that's really going to make a difference. Um, everything we do in the organisation we try and make sure is evidence-based. So it's great to be the first to be doing that. It also means that we're significantly contributing to lots of the issues um, that Francis and the Berwick report were uh, re relating to, that things are safe uh, on wards for service users and that they have a good experience. Keeping both staff and patients safe is a priority. And while mental health organisations have their fair share of conflict, Safe Wards give staff a suite of tools to provide excellent care all day, every day, no matter what the situation. Being one of the first in the country, well, it's quite an accolade, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, no pressure, but uh, we're, you know, I think it'll really work and I think it'll be a great opportunity for Rosewood to just show what a great ward we are.